Dr. Thomas often wrapped a standard mass with paper and asked students to determine the unknown. He then let them compare the determined experimental value of the mass with the standard by unwrapping the paper. When compared with the standard value, percentage error tells him by how much you are off. Here comes the question. Joe did the physics lab to determine the unknown mass and got 45 grams. The unknown had 50 grams standard written on it. What is the percentage error? The percentage error is given by observed minus standard divided by standard times 100. Observed minus standard divided by standard times 100. This result is very useful to all of us. Let us say we are in the process of manufacturing some items and we would like to know if the nuts that we manufacture have bigger radius or smaller radius compared to the standard. As a manufacturer, your goal is to have no percentage error, zero percent error. If we do the lab and we observe a value that is greater than standard, so observed is greater than standard, then our percentage error is positive. If observed is less than standard, then our percentage error is negative. And sometimes, ideally, we want percentage error to be zero, which in which case standard and observed should be the same. Standard is the same as observed. We have zero percent error. Observed is greater than standard, percentage error is positive. Observed is less than standard, percentage error is negative, and standard is equal to observed, percentage error is zero. So percentage error is observed minus standard divided by standard times 100. And what is the result that we have? Joe determined the value to be 45. Experimentally, he determined the value to be 45. What is written on the mass is standard. So 45 minus 50 divided by 50, and that times 100. And that gives you, what is 45 minus 50? It is negative 5. And what is negative 5 over 50? Negative 1 over 10. And negative 1 over 10 times 100 is negative 10%. So we have negative 10%. So read it as negative 10% when compared with the standard. So what is the interpretation? What is the interpretation? Our determined experimental value is less. Remember, it is the observed minus standard divided by standard times 100. So whenever observed 45 is less than standard 50, what happens to 45 minus 50? It is negative 5. Our experimental value is less compared to the standard. It is off by 10%. It is off by 10%. Your words of confidence about us to others matter. Thank you.